because there's yeah, we're not up to date now with right. new changes. With the new changes, but as of before, though, you had basically really you had the two vendors that were approved by the city that took care of all the workman's comp, took care of everything, and you were able to uh, EFT the funds every every month. So one was Apple One, and the other one was one that did like computer services and all. And I forget the name of that one because we never used them. But we did use Apple One; it was very successful. But you're able to use Apple One, and they give you a, a flat fee, which includes workman's comp, everything, and then you let them know exactly what you need, whether it's an accountant, whether it's a note taker, whether it's. So we can hire an accountant also to help the uh, treasury problems through yeah. Apple One. We can. Beautiful. Through Apple One, and then your other question as to. The amount that you could spend on a facility, I'm not sure where it's at now because, as you said, we've been cut, 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 cut. Well, you have no choice. They have to do that. Right. Um, have you guys tried partnering with the council member? Because his office is right there. Um, let's not discuss that and open that can of worms, Mr. Chairman. Okay. It's worms. Big can of worms. All right. Well, okay. How about one of your parks, one of your local parks? Do they have extra facilities there that you could partner we, with? Well, we tried doing it with the El Torino Senior Center, but um, I would, the administrator said no. So I think that would be an option. But that would be, I, I think that's have an have option. Some details, yeah. It has to go to record parts of whoever owns those facilities or whoever legally manages right. it, even if they don't own it. Whoever manages it, so, that well, has we, to go. I've to the Starts with G, uh, general services. Right. Yeah. And then we'll allow it to have to go to the city attorney through the contract and all that. You go to the department right. first and then they look it over and then they give it to the city attorney and then it comes okay. back. So it's just a work yes. in progress. Okay. Okay, right. so just based, wait, I'm sorry, should we do this line item really quick? Go ahead, so I can get it back. I was going to say, so it's 127 times 12 is 1,524 and then the facilities for the senior center is $70 mm -hmm. times 12 is 840. And then what about your town hall? Oh, we could allocate. Uh, you have to allocate because you got to meet somewhere. We're going to do it for a year. We're going to do it for a year. Yeah, might as well put it in the budget now, though. Okay. So, three, seven, 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 That's what you guys can do, right? Yeah, yeah. Set, a goal, set, a, set a goal and try to live up to that goal. So, 3204 equals 3,484 for everything. With the two years, the year that we owe, the year upcoming year, with the storage plus 284 the what line items are you uh, for facilities for first thing? Okay. Well, uh, uh, since in this particular MC, we have approximately more or less at the crow flight 11 committees, and more or less is 2500 bucks per committee, somewhere in that area, more or less. What I don't like is that a committee is not allowed to partner with another committee with their money to do a project, okay? It has to be only related to whatever that committee represents, theoretically or whatever it is that, that represents. But you can only spend the money on what that committee represents and nothing else. And I don't like that because sometimes it takes a joint adventure in terms of money with another uh, committee to make something happen. And it's not in terms of the treasure right there, we won't allow that. Is it in the standing rules or in the bylaws? No. Okay, see? I would not allow that. I tried that. I'm the chair for the Green Committee. I'm going to use some of my money and partner, let's say, with uh, Mickey's, the guy sitting right here next to you. Purification with committee. Purification and do something. I want to move the flower pots that we have here where businesses don't want them. They're very heavy and it's going to take quite a bit of money to move them to businesses that want them and take care of whatever we plant in there. But according to the treasurer, it can't be done because it's not related and blah, 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 blah. You're Bunch of baloney. You need to figure that out because it's either, it's either the bylaws or the bylaws and standing rules. Yeah, and a lot of it, it because how we got into it, he and I. And so he happened to have the, the finance book that we had for training. I've taken the training for treasurer many times over the years. Mm -hmm. And you and I go back a long time. Anyway, uh, luckily he had it in his vehicle. He brought it out. We went by it, and it showed that it was at his discretion. So if he didn't want to, he happened to be nice and went along with it. But if he had this not wanted to do it, I'd have been out to lunch. And I don't think that's right. 
Okay. Well, she has it on for executive committee. I think I can't even first. Oh, I just wanted to comment uh, on that transfer money within committees. Actually, the line item would be the same if it's community improvement project. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't require a modification to the budget. And that's, you know, something that, Yeah, it's something know. internal that was within the yeah, right. You hear that, Anthony? Exactly. Right. Equal me your both. Two things now. Oh. As Travis said. So the standing committee, we have a standing committee. For standing is, is it a church to have? Right. Is he able to make those uh, standing rules to make that process clear? Yeah, process. Develop process step one. It's a process that the board has to approve those, those standing rules. So it's not unilateral that he can say this is the law. Correct. Okay. Right. And my other question is in regards to the staffing, the temporary staff. Will we have like job descriptions or description of what the person is going to do and how much time they're going to do? Will that be discussed to the board? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the board has to, even though it's part of the budget, you still have to go and say, okay, we're going to need 10 hours a month to do. And I'm just making that accounting. Account. Yeah. Or we need six hours a month to do note taking. Yeah, and the board would have to. Right. That. And because remember, the way the funding is now, I believe work, we have to pre like have it a pre pre approved to the prior month. Yeah. The, the, there's the requester form that I was talking about yeah. earlier in the conversation. So that's what you want to do. Plus, you want to be transparent, though. You don't want to be spending money and then all of a stakeholder goes. Excuse me, what are you spending on? Be transparent, it's real easy. Okay. And there may be people in the audience who say, hey, I can do that for you. I have no problem. <laughs> it happens. Oh, they, oh, wow. Will they, uh, they do that voluntarily? Yes. Like say somebody wants to, say there's a high school student that's in graphic arts and wants to do all your flyers. Why not encourage them to do it for you? Right. We've been very fortunate that Mr. Marcus has donated his time for that. Right. But I'm saying though, but but that's the other thing of partner. Yeah. You yeah. know, say if there is something, or or you have Cal State LA here. Right. What happens if there's some yeah. graphic arts students who need to have on their resume that they did this, this, and this, because nobody will hire them unless they have this, this, and this. So, so for the record, I just want to say it's not that I'm against all of that. I'm just saying that if we do everything in committee, it would be less on everybody else. Yes. As far as the district board and as far as her job, and our jobs will get done. Of course, there's always going to be that moment when we need something. So yes. I just want to say I'm not against it. I'm just saying that I've been at many meetings, and we don't have quorum, and we don't have participation, and it's hard to get the paperwork. And you mentioned the packet. We were talking about a packet at the Standing Rules Committee, and we haven't yet gotten it together, but it's on its way. So when we get that, then it'll be Did you help you develop the templates and all that for it? Yes. I'd be more than willing to come out. And right, right. We'll talk yeah. to the yeah. people. So yeah. between now and the fifth, I can't because I'm going to Chicago. No, 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 no. So yeah, that's I'm actually right. leaving tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. One of so. my goals is to have Terrence right. come back and talk to the chairs and do the standing rules and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and to develop the packet so it's yeah. easy because now it's a form that yeah. check, 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 right. check, right. sign. Okay, so okay. moving on. I'm here to help you guys. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. For the miscellaneous expense, 300 is... What about 200? 200? Yeah, we're still in out outreach. Or is that pretty much what you guys would like to see for outreach, maybe even a little bit more? Yes. When you mentioned 200, what's your question? Oh, I was going to have to line out. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 So is that, is, I just want to go quickly down the line. Like, yeah. One three hundred miscellaneous, one thousand uh, office equipment and supplies, two hundred postage, and then the temporary staff twenty five hundred, and then so that would give us a total of.
Public Safety Committee, Education Committee, Force Rights Committee. And each of the committees can write their own goals, their own accomplishments, their own advertising. And this is a product of the neighborhood council because to me, I wouldn't want to pay a newspaper to put our logo inside there and spend $2,000 and we could use that same $2,000 and create our very own tangible newsletter. We could pass out at every event, give them a, as a yearly uh, yearbook, maybe of, of, of accomplishment, we could take it to the Women's Festival and any other event we have. So those $2,000 would be something that I would just ask to be moved somewhere else. And a couple other items. Or to the newsletter? I would move them to the newsletter, meaning we would take ownership of our own newsletter rather than paying someone else money to advertise for us. We're advertising with our own money. Let's start there and we'll go right across. Yeah, I'm in publication communication. Having to do a newsletter every month or quarterly, that's a lot of work. I mean, unless you know what you're doing and you know how to write, okay, it's going to be a lot of work. And you talk about, you know, you have too much work already. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen, Anthony. Okay. It's not going to happen. I can tell you right now. You got it for the neighborhood council. Yeah, right. no, so I put together newsletters, but what I'm saying is now, what you're saying is now the neighborhood council doesn't have no newsletter. Well, I didn't know that. There should be on advertising. My suggestion with those bads that other neighborhood councils are doing, and they put them all on the main street, so you're catching the attention of people that are crossing that Mission Rod, crossing all those main streets. It's going to save you money because you won't have to do a lot of those the small posters going to individual homes, and they're going to be. Are we talking street banners just so everybody knows? Which one? Street, street banners. banners. Yes. Yeah, street on the banners. Yeah. Those are very expensive. I did that for for the. Um, Okay, we yeah, just, yeah. 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 just I know our neighborhood council, we have 34 locations. It was ten thousand dollars to start, and then we pay like five hundred dollars a year for them to take them down, clean them, and put them back up because they get dirty, dirty, dirty. Then also, if we got the Santa Ana wind, it tears the banners, so now we have to pay for the repairs, and then we also have to pay for replacement ones. I mean, it's a great outreach, but you have to look at the maintenance, the maintenance, and then also the initial upfront cost. Well, I mean, if we're going to go that far, I mean, you can take some of the billboards around town and uh, and put up a banner uh, for a few months, you know, and and you know, work with work with the owners of the of the spot itself, and maybe they'll donate it because maybe they're they're lacking in advertising. You know, I think that's better spent. Than, than the banners because uh, you know the banners you have to have a permit you have to have to, you have you have to have an agency that's certified by the city to take them down and then you have replacements like you said yeah we have your play flag and banner now do you guys have street furniture in your area I was just gonna mention the yeah. bus we were the bus contact the bus the whole the shelters CBS the shelters yes yeah, there's the bus shelters and then there's also the the uh, the triangles. Mm -hmm. One of those was supposed to be for the city and neighborhood councils. It's always the one that's pointing away from the street, though. But it, it's at least something. Mr. Chavez? Yes. In front of the banners, I had contact with Triple A flag over there in Florida, the Beverly Hills, on Pico. And I was able to get a banner for our street here. The only place in LA 32 where it's legal to put a banner from the city, because I had them come out, is on Lombardi and Eastern. We happen to have a banner there now, but I could, I was able to get one bigger than that one. It goes all the way like that, pretty long banner, and whatever the city allows them in this, for $1,500. That was uh, two years ago. It uh, didn't fall through because I was trying to get the money, and remember, they gave me the money for that? That's what she was treasurer, okay? Uh, and so we didn't get it. We got it this year, we got the banner. Now, the other thing for the outreach, one thing I'd like to know is if, because now there's no more rollover money and there's no more encumbrance money for that title. You know, it's an encumbrance, but not use that word. You know. What I'd like to know if we can, what we need and a lot of entities need for outreach is an electric marquee, like the one there is on Eagle Lodge Boulevard in Vertugo, where Councilman Garcetti's office is over there next to the Verdugo Playground, there's the pool and all that. That's district, what's our city's district? Glass Park. Oh, Glass Park. Park. That's why I'm going. Right. They have one in their building. Right. That's a rental, yeah. you know, where you rent. Right, but was that part of the settlement with public storage, storage yeah. to be able to find? Yeah, I thought that but was. But nevertheless, so. the, the marquee is only used for the neighborhood council. I stood there and watched the whole thing go around. So what I saw 
came out around the country. And nothing but information regarding the MCs on that thing. And we need one of those here. But I want to know, since they're pretty expensive, we can't get it, and we're going to get 37000 and split up all the money. The treasurer and the vice president and the president are going to have to talk to all those chairs to see if we're willing to give some of that money back for that purpose. And since it still can't be paid out of one year, if we can encumber that money, wrong purpose, I realize that. You get my point. Uh, if we can somehow save that money for next year, so maybe in between two years of money, we can buy one of those and put it maybe in the middle of the lawn around here or somewhere where it's on 24 hours a day or whatever. You know, maybe, uh, and we could maybe convince the councilman to also partner with us to see that we, because it's gonna, not going to be cheap with one in there. There's already electricity in the middle where the lawn is, and there's lights and all of that, so you wouldn't have to break any concrete or asphalt, just dig through the grass and then patch it back up to get electricity for that. But it's the money of I a mean, uh, rollover money. Are there any organizations that currently have electric signs in your area? No. Well, Other businesses. Have you worked with the school to at least get one message up there? No, but that is That's an outreach. Idea. And we've done, we've done. That's outreach. And we've given that money up. And sometimes those signs aren't exactly really placed where they're really advantageous for the public at large, which is what the NCs need for right. the public at large, you know? Right. That's well, mainly for the parents of those kids right. to see. But that's a start, though. Yeah. We, got, we got to do a start, because we got to do a strategic plan on how we're going to get the but money. But if we start so. that way, so with all due respect, we're never going to get to the end, because that's going to be good enough, even though it's not good enough. I don't we need to go is. for that marquee. That's what we need to really go for. All right. Um, oh, yeah. um, just, just a question. When they do Figures uh, brought uh, put out here that for advertising for advertising that including the uh, thousand dollar for the loan special each year. Is that a uh, thought? Is that an outreach? Uh, yeah, it's an outreach event. Yeah. yeah, so why is it a flying right up here? Well, I'm saying that in a sense it's an ad sometimes too. That will is fun. it that or is it an MPG? It's MPG though, because right. we, we, we have to do an MPG. Okay. So that's part of the MPG. And do you guys have different um, nonprofits or schools compete against the five thousand dollars? Yes. To see which the best project is. No, no, we don't project. do that. That's not the way it works. Here, it's like they'll come to the committee, they'll request the money from the committee, the committee approves it or not, mm -hmm. and then they'll bring it to the board if they approve it and they recommend. Okay. But no, not a competition. That would actually be nice. Yes. Because so anybody can come in a nonprofit request and right. the money's gone with the first exactly. person that asked for it. So it should be a time period to, to ask certain nonprofits yeah. to compete <laughs> in the best overall that would be uh, an interest of the electorate to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, what would be good, our get both the, yeah. what would be good is where the first quarter you advertise about it, that they're that you have money available for neighborhood purpose grants. With the criteria, and then the second quarter is when you have the application process, and at the end of the second quarter or beginning of the third is when you award those dollars. Oh, that's great. That's when you, you get all of them at the same time, mm -hmm. you review them, and exactly. then you select. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and nonprofits understand that because they're always competing for grants, so they already understand the process. So, um, my name is Always Okay, so wait, 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 before we. I wanted to slow down. I'm done with the budget category 100, so let's just finish that up really quick. Yes. So right. it's, it's the same amount. The only difference is facilities, 70, 10, 24 months is 1680 Four town hall meetings at $70 is 280 and storage $127 at 12 is 1524 for a total of 3484 plus adding the 300 for miscellaneous, office cost 1000 post is 200 the temporary cost 2500 comes out to 7184 that's for number seven thousand. That's for our category one hundred. We'll okay, so we're now down to two hundred out, uh, outreach. So let's go over the line item real quick, and then you can.
I, I didn't speak briefly about the advertising, but uh, on the election, I believe it's acceptable. The events, expenses, food refreshments, I believe that should be reduced by half because we don't spend that much money to give away food. I so agree. I thought that was that the That 4000 should be 2000 and well, my suggestion would be 2000 and then the one below that called median expenses, that should be reduced by half, which could save us $3,000, which we could put into another category. Website maintenance, if it costs 3000 leave it, but I would take $3,000 uh, outreach and put it into community improvements. Sure. Or by reducing or four thousand to two thousand and two thousand to one thousand, so you get close three thousand, and I would move to to improve that. Thoughts of that? Did anybody have any? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I kind of disagree with that because um, the neighborhood council is the least going in the past, if you don't want to do it that way this time, that's up to this board. But um, a lot of the, we, we gave a lot of money to events within the community, like the Healthy Start Fair. We gave them money for food, we bought food, you know, so, right. so um, we used a lot more money in events than maybe community improvement projects. But I, I'm glad to see more money in the improvement part. But I think actually the whole 6,000 should go on th into events. I agree. I think that's what brings in people. Well, and also the neighborhood council themselves want to have an event, like we have the 10th anniversary party, you want to have an event that would go into that category as well. Well, if you go back to one of the goals, and that was to actually have the neighborhood council not only facilitate their own programs and projects, that could be part of it. So going back to that actual goal, how it reflects the budget, you're absolutely right.
or we uh, we gave money for the um, the the planter the, the landscaping the plant no uh, yes planters like beautification would use that that would be community improvement and um, in fact there was you know beautification or I forgot which was the green or the green committee I I split it in half I gave them half for um, events and then half for community improvement which. You know, we've put in those um, those doggy bag holders for the parks. Those are community improvement. But for the events like the kite festival, you have to split up the money. So you can have money split up within the committee for them to use in two different areas. So, but as far as this budget goes, you have to show that chunk of events. My, I, my position is still those events come from the committee, just like you mentioned, the kite festival. It was not an event, which it really was, but it was hosted by the Arts and Culture Committee. So that community needs the money, not in an event line item. Yes. They need it in the community improvement that's line exactly item. That's exactly what it is. What are you improving with the Pike Festival? What, what, what are you improving it's in the park? Are you that. planting trees? No. Okay. okay. No. You're holding an event. All right. All right. Let's go with the next one. I'll get that outreach category. Okay. That's outreach. That's not event. That's Ladies and gentlemen, I think here. I'm with Pam that I think we, in this community, we have three specific events that bring out for our big crowd. The Bicentennial Parade, Healthy Start, and the Kite Festival is taking on a life of its own. Okay? I, I was hoping to see here a line item for each one of the three. Because those are events, inclusive community events, events that bring out a large population. Okay. Now, whether they go, and it's, this is something that transcends all the committees. This is the inclusive community events, and that's why I'm going to pay on this item. The other thing here that needs to be looked at is I think looking at this, land use is going to need more money at least double our allocation because we have some major issues that fall in whether we can keep it under town hall but we also got some major issues that are coming up that are going to require major outreach too that that in, that are in addition to what we may be wanting to do with these town halls but i'm with pam here i would have thought of looking at the document i was going to see a line item for the bicentennial parade I was going to see a line item for the Kite Festival, and I wanted to see a line item for the Healthy Start because these, what I, as far as I'm concerned, these are now, I think we could all agree, are established. Can I ask one question? Are, are those events put on by the Neighborhood Council? In collaboration with our no. Are they put on by the Neighborhood Council, or are you guys giving money to a nonprofit to hold the event? Um, in the case of the Bicentennial, we're giving money to the nonprofits to hold the event. Okay. So why isn't it an MPG? It is. So that goes down all the way at the bottom. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's where it goes, and it sounds like you may be having a competition for, and maybe those are the best ones. But I'm just trying to get clarity as to who is actually the kind of it. Is that the neighborhood council? Yes. 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 So sponsor. If that's what the board wants to look at. Right, and then the Healthy Start is. Healthy Start is. We are a collaborative event that's put on by the El Serena Healthy Start. Start Festival, and I heard earlier. What? That's the kind of story that outreach. Is outreach? Okay. And movements I heard earlier. So. But are these ones that are going to be competing against each other? That's what this board has to decide. Because there's only so much of a bucket. Well, here's the difference between the, like, let's just say, most of the, of the outfits for different communities. The, the outfits, you know, the white community is for the July that involves the whole community. Okay. And it's our biggest event, I believe, about 5,000 people. Yeah, okay. for our biggest event. It's the biggest event in, 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 in this whole community. Okay. So, now, the Lummis? The Lummis. Lummis, excuse me. Isn't that all the way in? Yeah. yeah. So but they, they come and hit us up for money every year because it's, uh,
part by taking you guys through the work with the competition framework, you'd really be able to see what's best for the community. We were talking two months ago about what are we doing with the what if we need money to host that and then we can have to take out another project that we always give money to? Can we not like stop giving money to the same people and like try to bring in a new project? That's what many neighborhoods do. That's, that's what I think that we should do. Because we've given to this organization, to this organization, but we're not getting any ROI from it. Okay. So maybe if we do like a spelling bill, we do the walk the block, whatever it is, we all put together. You want to do a an art festival or something of some sort, or Yolanda wants to do some other thing. Well, how are we going to fund all of that that's brand new? If it's, if it's broken, it's been bad. You know, things like this we've been doing, but we're not getting any which, which, is, which is what I was thinking our in outreach event expenses should be higher versus community improvements for neighborhood well, Have you identified your community improvements? No. Here's the thing, Yes, I've been that all day. <laughs> the, the, the way in the past we have allocated money, we have allocated money to the committees, and then the committees figure out how to spend that money. But I, so I think we might need to do a shift in more, more community improvement projects oriented, because otherwise, if we're scraping and we're really, the community really doesn't see what we do. Right. So it's like we're here really for nothing in a sense. And it also goes back to what you guys have already decided you wanted to do. The big goals. Is outreach. Is outreach, outreach and how do you accomplish that those goals? So I think by doing the program is going to have a different outlook. Yes, sir. I should maybe do that outreach, get that foundation set, so people are involved, and then and then a year or two, I don't want to be very long years to get that community involvement. They put that money in improvements because they know where what's needed out there. But until you know until you have the outreach done, you don't they don't know and so they can't tell you because they don't they're not there. So I think it's foundation wise, it's a, an outreach first. Get everybody out to know that to come in, to be able to, you know, be part of it, have their input, and then you know what is needed where. Right. And that's what we've been pushing for or I've been trying to get you guys to the let Mr. Chavez and then you okay, uh, we had an activity this weekend out here, uh, and uh, we were missing part of the equipment, complete the equipment. Anthony was very nice and gracious to borrow some equipment to make what equipment we did have work. What he borrowed was uh, speaker stands that we don't have, we're used to, but we don't, and that's what's important, we don't. And the, what's that called, the amplifier that you borrowed? It's part of the PA system. Yes, of course, it's all. That's what we do need. So it's, it's that thing, whatever it is. has a name. If you don't know the name, say I don't know the name. Stuff. Well, I know it's part of the PhD, but that contraption has a name. All right. If you don't know the name, it's okay if you don't. It's an amp, but it's got all kinds of little dials. You hook up the speakers to it, and what have you. Pardon me? It's a sound system. Yeah, it's a sound system, but it's a mixer. Yeah, it's a mixer. 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 It's I'm not finished yet. Yeah. Okay, sir. Sure. So we need to buy that thing and the stands because we already have two beautiful speakers. And also we need to complete the thing for the translation equipment from whatever language. We have a part of it, but we have the other part missing. And we need to buy that. So that's part of your outreach so, or whatever. So wait a minute, that would be part of the equipment up here. Equipment, but it's still used for outreach. Does your translator come with translation equipment? Yes, if you hire them. We have equipment, but apparently the battery pack is missing. Whatever's missing, what whatever is missing. Whatever is missing. Portion You're of correct, but that's when we hire one. Why don't we choose not to hire one? Because we already have the equipment already. And we have an in-house translator. So we're missing a battery or a charge? Whatever it is, sir, but we need to complete it. They need okay. to take a look. Anthony is very good at those yeah. things. And you know, then we can go out and price what they cost. Well, I think that's part of the uh, category uh, 100. Okay, so we got to go back to category 100. Well, so, well, you have it already there. You already have a lot of dollars. Right. We could buy a PA system or a sound system or. Or the missing pieces. Or the missing pieces. Whatever is missing, you know, you find out whatever is missing. We have a thousand dollars. We need to make sure you have that inventory. Right. 
It's not as a public storage mm, Well, we're working on the inventory. Okay. That's an unnatural process, so we're working on that. Yeah. Okay. So, we have a
mean, for example, we got them for a commit this week. And I'd like to see a line item what the council office is putting out there in terms of monetary support. I mean, it's a public, it's a public record. Right. And I think that, once again, if we could, that would at least be a lot of the discussion here on outreach is that we could also get a community group to meet with the council office on a quarterly basis at least to identify potential funding programs or events that could be allocated funding for from their perspective. Are, and you, I guys, know we, mm -hmm. are you guys part of the alliance? Um, we're, yeah. Yes. Money, really yeah. All right. And grab your butt and that can well, I would say work forward, like you said, everybody in CD14 yeah. work together on that, and I think that's where the genesis needs to be. But we need to really focus on the outreach in so LA32. Sir, and then what's being done here, happening here, is that the NCC <coughs> is, is, is the way to put on their shoulders to do these events when it should be the uh, customer's office with the events and us just helping out with the footwork.